But the, the difference is that when Celestia came, he came with power. Only he ran, he saw the song and said, Ni Babara Eje Jesu, Ni Baba Pibe Kale. Earlier, by the power in the blood of Jesus, this church was descended. Once that power is not there, it has become an assembly. In my church, I don't have a stage, I have an altar. So, you see, the altar is not a place that belongs to us. <laughs> no, it is not a place where you go to entertain. I remember I went to a church in Ogba, and I went with some of my men that time, before we even rebuilt this church. And when we left the church, we are going. One of my young, young, young men then said to me, he said, Daddy, when you finish preaching, a young man by my side here on the right, left hand side was clapping. And the man here on the right hand side told the one on the left hand side of me, she had the one who came out because of your father. The church and the altar and the pupils is where you are supposed to be told the truth and you have to repent. So if you, if you arrange, if God has said you should light the candle in Ascend, in ascending order, and yeah. you change it to descend, uh, uh, descending order, I change it to ascending order, I will follow the arrangement of the Almighty. Hmm. I said, I see Papa Shepa in the dream, and tells me, no, I have changed it, this is what God said, then I will change it. I read your 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 article on that and I was I was shocked 
I mean, I, I think the first one is entertainers or the pupils mm. that you wrote, so, uh, you know, a few weeks ago, and uh, you, you brought out a whole lot of, you know, I, I don't want to talk about the bazaar within services force, but let's talk about the entertainer, pupil entertainers. Mm. Now, in 2019, you saw what happened. It was so absurd in this country. It has never happened in any celestial parish. What was the name of that young boy in uh, Alakuko or something like that? Yeah, is... No one daily or something like that or, or his name. I mean, he brought one was here indeed, a Fuji musician, and he brought him to the altar. And it was so absurd. The guy sang for I think almost an hour or plus. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
And that day, as the Wasiu was leaving his church, a car ran over some members, broke their limbs, killed like two, some three found themselves in the hospital. He, he covered the story, but eventually punched brought his out. It was in the, in the media. And uh, I was asking that, how did you get to that level that you bring a Fuji musician into a celestial church parish, a cathedral? You call it celestial church. Even though we might not know what is under the pulpit or what is under the altar, if the altar is genuine or fake. But when I now read your article on Pulpit Entertainer, I said maybe you could let us know how to discover this Pulpit Entertainer and what is the implication of servicing under them, going to their church. Because a lot of people might be swayed by the wrong perception, especially regarding Celestial of Christ. Thank you very much. I want to respond this way. Mm. Number one, like you said, cow ran over those people. In the evening, yes, sir. If you had done the right thing, 
God is not a God that wants his children dead or injured. Mm. He would have prevented that. That aside, now there are certain places you call churches and altars. In fact, before Ka, sorry, I'm sorry to blow it, before Ka even ran into them, he has gone to parties, his orderly shot, life wire came and killed some people. Another place, he went to another Ikori in Oshodi. The orderly shot and the gun went and meets one man and killed the man. The wife is now a widow with almost four or five children. Everywhere he goes, confusion just follow. I don't know. So I said, is it that this guy does not understand the Blue Book, the Celestial Church, or the call of S.V. Joy Shofar? Well, uh, I, 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 want to, I want to respond this way. I would not want to be entangled in anything relating to that young man. I will tell you why. Recently, there was, there was an issue with uh, one Mama Esther Jai and responses yeah. from this man, that man, and a lot of things started flying in the media. No. But I know one thing for sure. There are a lot of places you look at churches and altars, they are mere assemblies. Okay. They've turned to assemblies. Okay. I said it before I came here. I said, there are places you go to. Okay. Yesterday, we had the brother Demola with us. I don't know if you know him, the greater tomorrow. Okay, from K2. Yes, okay, he, came to, he came to the revival. He has abused him once too. He said, <laughs> he will tell them, man, they can't be. Can he little block Lori? My dad go cool every five hours. My dad go no be me on shake bed. That's the same deal. So, but I never, came, but I came to minister. Very great guy. Yes, and he said something, which is I've always said. There are celestial church is descended with power. He said before celestial came, God hears prayers. I do angba. Kisa leto de. But the, the difference is that when Celestia came, he came with power. Only, he, ran, he saw the song and he said, Ni babara eje jesu, ni baba fi bekale. Earlier, by the power in the blood of Jesus, this church was descended. Once that power is not there, hmm. it has become an assembly. Mere assembly. Mere assembly. So it can be any other hall. Sincerely. Where a Fuji musician can come out. Yes. In that, that place is no more an altar. It's a stage. Mm. In my church, I don't have a stage. I have an altar. Mm. So, you see, the altar is not a place that belongs to us. Mm. No. It is not a place where you go to entertain. Now, when I wrote that article about pupil entertainers, you see people want to go to the pupils. Earlier. Hmm. When they are preaching, they want people to clap for them. Yes, sir. No. I remember I went to a church in Ogba, and I went with some of my men that time, before we even rebuilt this church. And when we left the church, we are going. One of my young, young, young men then said to me, he said, Daddy, when you finish preaching, a young man by my side here on the right, left hand side was clapping. And the man here on the right hand side told the one on the left hand side of me, She at the one came up by because of That's deep. A lot of people go into the pulpit to entertain the members mm -hmm. so that they will laugh <laughs> and they will clap for him when he finishes. It's happening in our, in our fold now. Now, in other folds, they bring in comedians. But, uh, that is so insulting. <laughs> it's happening in Winners Chapel in Redeem. But at the time, I don't want Redeem, to mention Yes, I don't want to mention their names. They brought Pasuma sometimes, they go, they have to caution the pastor. They bring Pasuma to Redeem. Somewhere huh? in uh, Lagos, they have gone there. What have they taken God for? You bring in entertainers to come and entertain on mm. a Sunday? When you have the Ask Theater there, you have the AY show there. Why can't you go to those places and laugh off your head? The church and the altar and the pupils is where you are supposed to be told the truth and you have to repent. And that's why I tell people for one thing. I say, I, I will never preach. I don't preach for sure. Oh, you never see me put, a, put up a program, seven days of prosperity, 21 days of uh, bless. I won't do it. But when a man repents of his sin, the blessings of God will run after that man. I've experienced it. Salvation. Yes. Yes. Before blessing. Oh, yes. When you repent, 
there are certain things God has in stock. He said in his own words, his own, his own words he said, I will bless those whom I will bless. Emotion, faint emotion. Yes. It is that blessing he will send after you. You don't deserve it. You don't deserve that. But because you have repented genuinely, he will send that blessing after you. Before I became a clergy, I would say, I would say this to you. Okay, sir. When, when the calling came, God said, use 98% of your time for me and 2% for yourself. <laughs> and I that, say, that, that's a very big challenge. Yes. Uh, uh, it's not easy, sir. How can I feed? How can I feed? Pay your bills. You pay my bills. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. I started. Gradually, I was, it was creeping in, creeping in, and eventually it became full. I can tell you these days, it happened sometimes last year. Somebody would look at me somewhere and say, Daddy, I, I, I heard your preaching somewhere. Please send me your account number. I'm not joking. <laughs> last year, somebody forwarded a thousand pounds to me. <laughs> God touched the person. Yeah, he started the person. He is God. Mm. You go to see that that my son sent something to him. I know. God does that. Let me shock you. Yes, sir. Some couple of few years back, I was an assistant shepherd somewhere, mm. and we are about celebrating harvest. And so I said, I'll give the church a bag of rice. I don't have two 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 thousand naira. Then the bag of rice was twenty two thousand naira. Mm. But because I pledged out of nothing. Mm. A day before the harvest, it was a Saturday. The man who pledged the cow has brought the cow. Me who pledged rice, <laughs> I cannot afford the bag of rice. So oh for that, I was at home by 4 p.m. Me and my wife we were sitting. My wife is a living witness. Oh God. So while we were sitting down, a call came in. And when I finished, the person was my first wife. He greeted me, Daddy, while we are talking, chat, the, the line cut off. So I said, ah, maybe she just wanted to greet me. Let me call her back and wish her well. I called back. He said, oh, daddy, don't drop yet. I was actually calling to tell you to give me your account number. But before then, I sent somebody to go and collect a bag of rice on credit that I'll pay by month end. When I gave her the account number, my, friend, my phone went dead. So she rang my wife's number and said she has transferred the money to for that deal. You know, out of anxiety, yes, I, I, I used to use a UPS. I yeah. quickly plugged the phone. <laughs> you know, my body was shaking. <laughs> so when I plugged the phone, I had pep them. The alert came in. 200,000 naira. God is too so. Ah. That's why I tell people, I say, we serve God, not man. Hmm. We must know what we are doing with him. Okay. If you read, read the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 20 or 22, it says the fear of God tended to life. The fear of God tended to life. Yeah. Mm. Yes, yes, the last one, you will not be visited with evil. Mm. That's the fear of God. And in fact, in Deuteronomy chapter 10, hey, from verse here. 12, hmm. he says, Israel, what do I demand of thee? Go and check it. it the first thing he said, he started with, fear me. Hmm. Fear me. Earlier, first law. Yes. All this we are saying since morning is because there is no fear of God. Hmm. The man who is the head is looking after what he thinks. He wants to buy a jeep. Hmm. He wants to live in a mansion for a very short while, for a very short while. In fact, the house I built, I really still there. I sleep in the church most of the time now. Oh God. How long have we got to live? Now, look, at, look back and look at those who came before us. The Aziki Ways, the yes, Awola Wars, yes, the Taishola Arins, the Bolaiges. This, these are men. Real men. Now, where are their wealth today? The Akitolas. The Akitolas. Mm. Where are their wealth today? The Abiolas. Mm. They have left it here, they have gone back. Just like that? Just like that. Mm -hmm. Let me go back to Celestia because there is something before we round up. We are still coming to your second article, sir, because that one is also very instructive. Mm -hmm. But 
in this tenant in the blue book, he said, members should not, members are forbidden to wear apparels made of black or red material except for professional reasons. Yes. Uh, then members should not wear shoes when wearing their sutanas or within the premises of the church. Male and female members are forbidden to sit together side by side within the church and its premises. Then female members during menstruation are not allowed to come within the precincts of the church until after their sanctification after seven clear days. Yes. And where the menstruation extends beyond seven days, two clear days should be allowed for after stoppage before sanctification. Yes. Female members are forbidden from entering the altar area or leading the congregation in worship. Yes. In Celestial Church of Christ, only white candles are to be used. Colored candles are strictly forbidden. Yes. Then number 11, which is very jamming, fornication and adultery are forbidden in the Celestial Church of Christ. Then 12, holy is the Celestial Church of Christ, and all who worship in her should endeavor to be clean in body and in soul. The mode of worship says all forms of worship in the Celestial Church of Christ are entirely revealed by the Holy Spirit. This includes the setting of the altar and the seat therein, the number of candles used for the various types of services, and the sitting arrangement. In particular, it should be noted that the sitting arrangement was revealed through a prophetess who, under the influence of the Holy Spirit in the wilderness on Friday, 5th October 1947, yes. sketched the sitting arrangement using oranges. Yes. Then, order of services. Before I go to question, there's an order of service laid down in the Celestial Church of Christ for different occasions, such as marriage, funeral, mass, and remembrance of the dead, mm. which we spoke about earlier. Yeah, yes. The order for the respective occasion is strictly as revealed by the Holy Spirit and is set out in the booklet titled Order of Service, obtained from the Supreme Headquarters in Porto Novo. Yes. Then, then. the Nigerian Diocesan Headquarters in Makoko, mm. Lagos, and indeed from many parishes all over the country. The order of service as revealed contains certain holy names which usually precede reading from the book of Psalms, the meaning of some of the holy names are given as follows. Yes. E Iba, Oluwa Alanu, Eliya, Oluwa Olorun, mm. Eli Bama Yaba, Oluwa Omo Emi Michael, Agashadua, Oba Olu Shegun, Jehovah Jeko Hirami, Oba Olu Bukun. Anyway, we are talking about the candle. Mm. In the days of S.B. Joshua, Yes. Alexander Bjorn Bader, mm. and those great men. There was a way they put the candle on the altar. Because if you look at Zechariah, I think chapter 4, you see the order of the celestial candle. Yes. The seven and the, you know, the way it's supposed to be put. But, so how do you think it should be lighted? Some people light it from under up now. I was in professional ministry the other day and he was telling me about the establishment of the parish that is supposed to be firstly sand filled with uh, sea sands and all that. And there should be kind of from lowest rung to the zenith. It should not be from cathedral to small. It should be from small to big. But talking about the kodu, the seven candles on the altar, how do you think it's supposed to be? Because these are laid down rules and they are the blue book and they are for essential service and spiritual gratification. Okay. Thank you very much. You see, the seven candle stand is also known as, known as the menorah. But we are not going to, we are not going into that now. We are going into the one that is peculiar with Celestial Church, how do we light it? When Papa Oshofa was alive, I was privileged. As I was, I wanted to use that word privileged. It's not a right. I was not born into the church. I was privileged for him to have anointed me twice. There are those who received three, four anointments from me. He's a great honor, sir. Now, the way we light candle in Shomolu then is one on top, you come down to the right, then you go to the left, in descending order. But when Papa died, suddenly they said this, this message came that you should not, you should not be, you can now light, you will not have to light it one on top and from bottom in ascending order. Well, for me, in my own church, I will not light it that second way. I will not. I will say it to anybody. Even Papa Bada, when he was alive, gave a lecture because he worked with the founder himself. Directly. Directly. That it should be in descending order, not in ascending order. I understand now. So where they got that from, who gave that message to them? I don't know. <laughs> but what I have, you see, I've, I've always told people, I said, what the founder said yes, sir. is what I will always follow. 
Mm. And that's why any man that sits in Ketu, yes, sir, will be the pastor that I'll follow. Any man that is sitting at that Ketu International Headquarters, yes, so, or in Imeko, yes, will be the man I will follow. Mm. If you like, go and sit in the, the sky and put out every paraphernalia of a pastorship office. I don't give a monkey. It is the man, because that's what, what he told us. So if you want to become a pastor of this church, go and sit in Imeko. Capture Imeko or Makoko or Ketu, especially Imeko. Right now, we have a pastor. You see? I, I said to those who want to hear me, but that's the truth. And I don't have regrets in saying it. When this pastor was installed... Oh, 2002. Yes, it's, it's precisely 20 years this year. Mm, He's the longest reigning pastor. The what? longest. One even spent seven days. Yes. The other if, one spent 15 years. Yes, if God was not with him, he can't be there. God knows what he's doing. You can put a man there for your purpose, but God will reverse that purpose to suit his own purpose. Hmm. That's a deep one, sir. Yes, our arrangement is not God's arrangement. Hmm. The arrangement of God is quite different from what we had. We have. It happened yesterday in my church. I had somebody else who was supposed to come and give the word at the revival. Brother Demola was supposed to come today, Friday. The man who was supposed to come yesterday, which I arranged for myself, when I called him, was in the Mekong. Can you imagine? I said, okay, let me call Brother Demola to remind him of tomorrow, which is today. He was already on his way there. Can you imagine? God's arrangement. God's arrangement. Oh, God. So the arrangement of God is quite different. So if you, if you arrange, if God has said you should light the candle in... Ascend, in ascending order, and yeah. you change it to descend, uh, uh, descending order, I change it to ascending order, I will follow the arrangement of the Almighty. Hmm. I said, I see Papa Shepard in the dream and tells me, No, I have changed it, this is what God said, then I will change it. But if I'm not, I won't change it. And I have no regrets. And I, I owe nobody and I have no, no apology. No. I want to ask you that what are those things that you saw in? Reverend Emmanuel Mobi on Friday or Shofa that make you to believe that Daju Daju Oluawa Kwelumani because when he became pastor I was the first journalist to interview him in, in K2 I think one day uh, Jerry took me there that day and uh, all this talk show I see young and very skinny there I interviewed him what did you see in EMF that make you to know he's called others grace on him sir as the leader of the church mm -hmm.